thin. Are you seeing that? Munster cheese sticks. I might be in heaven. It's cold out today and I'm here found a quiet little park um, inside Hibbing no one around kids are all in school of course and I've had a realization that kind of similar at times to my photography I tend to shoot these videos where there's no one around I don't know if it's because I feel silly talking to the camera or if it's just that I'm a little shy as I mentioned I'm an introvert at heart and not always that comfortable you know sticking a camera up where you know people can see or wonder what I'm doing it's something I need to work on see little things like that with some kids flip-flops left out and number one it's cold out so what is a kid doing wearing flip-flops in weather like this Number two, it makes you wonder, how did that little kid go home without any shoes? I mean, didn't the parents check before they got in the car and bundled up to see if the kid had his shoes on? I hopped back in my car because it's cold outside, windy, and that wind has a bite to it today, and it's not that it's that cold, Per se, it's not like it's winter or anything, but I'm just not dressed for it. I've got my lightweight work clothes on for the office and um, got a little chilly. But I've been thinking a little bit about something with uh, my photography, and it's something that I'm working hard and thinking about how I can approach um, working hard to do better with. And that's the idea of making prints. Now, I don't know how many of you guys do a lot of printmaking of your work, but there's a part of me that kind of misses the, the old days, so to speak, when in order to view the pictures that you were taking, you would have a physical print, a physical picture in your hand. It wasn't all digital. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I wish we were all still shooting film and everything else. The technology we have is great, and I'm a digital shooter. I love digital photography, but I do feel like I'm kind of missing out on something by not having more prints. Print more. That's the theme for today. Wanted to just uh, kind of touch base on that and let you know a couple tips that I've um, found that I'll use myself from time to time because the number one issue with getting all of these prints made is that you know plain and simple it's expensive it gets expensive in a hurry and so one thing that I suggest you do is uh, to, to help out and help defer that cost at times is to keep an eye out for companies um, one that I'll use and I know they run deals from time to time is called Shutterfly. Many of you have probably heard of them. I actually use them every year and I order calendars through them as gifts. But the cool thing with Shutterfly, and I'm sure there's other companies that do this as well, so you just want to take a look, is that if you set up a free account with them and that also puts you on their email promotion list, which I know most of us hate getting all this email from these companies, but Sometimes it's worth it with companies like this because they send out promotions almost daily or weekly with different things going on. But the one that's really the hidden gem in it all is that every so often, I'm um, not sure exactly how often, if it's once every couple months, 
but they'll run a promotion for like three days where they give you 101 uh, four by six inch size prints for free. All you pay is the shipping, so like seven or eight dollars. So a great way to get some prints made like that, especially when they're the family, um, you know, kind of more snapshots and moments that you just want to save. They're not necessarily fine art prints you're going to hang on a wall. Um, Another great company for stuff like that is MPix, who's a division of Miller Photography or Miller's Photography. And there's a number of other places out there that do this. The other company that uh, I, I really like, they're a, a pretty high-end company as far as what they do um, and, and how they work it, but it's, it's a company called Artifact Uprising. Now, they do custom photo books. They do fine art prints, big wall displays, um, calendars, all these different things. And they've got some really beautiful stuff. They're kind of one of these um, higher end niche market type of uh, photography places. But they do every so often, might be about once a year, a promotion where um, they'll do 25 prints. Now, when, they, when they do the, these promotions, they actually, again, same kind of a deal. You get 25 prints for free and you um, just pay for shipping. Their prints are made on a, a, a thicker kind of a cardstock paper with a, a fiber textured finish, which gives a, it's a really matte finish. There's no coating on it, um, so no fingerprints, anything else. But it, it really makes these things uh, nice and you can see Hopefully, I'm not sure how well the light is here, but these photos actually um, come out really nice. Just some pictures of my kids, um, you know, helping in the garden and stuff last year, um, things like that. So, but the prints are really cool and they're the perfect size where you can pin them up on a wall. You can, you know, stick them anywhere you want. Um, but they're also nice. We keep ours in the box and just use them, you know, and, and dig through them. They're almost like a, a greeting or a, a, you know, you could use them as a thank you card. The back is blank. You could easily put a, a image of your choice on the front, write a little thank you note on the back. This one, my daughter was playing uh, Little League Baseball the last couple of years, um, or T-ball, I should say, and I just really like that capture of her out in the field I made. So, um, you know, this is... This is an image, try not to get too much into this, but of her painting out at the summer campsite that some family has. And this was one of the first images when I got my Fuji gear and that 35 millimeter 1.4 lens. One of the first images I made that really had that Fuji color that blew me away. Um, this is basically a straight out of camera JPEG. Um, the only processing done on it was just um, a little bit of a uh, brightness because I underexposed it a tad and um, you know just cropping it to the square format so that that stuff is amazing but I won't get off on Fuji I did that enough yesterday um, but I mean this is a print one of my very first prints I did um, this is a print I made at the, the Sturgeon River, which I've taken you guys down there, I think, once this year and, and showed it to you. As a very first print, it was pretty awesome. And, you know, the feeling you get from holding and seeing that print in your hands and up on your wall or whatever it might be, it's really special. And it's something I urge all of you guys to do. So make sure that you take the time to get those prints made. All right, so that's a little bit about my philosophy and my thought process behind why we should make prints. I don't want to make it too long today, um, but I just urge you guys, make sure whatever you're going to do, whoever you want to find to print them, just get those prints made because seeing those prints in your hand, um, no matter where you order them from, that's that's the special part where it's you know you have those memories and you can look at them tangibly show family members share those times and they're just so important and it's something i personally really need to do more of i'm going to ask you guys a question right now i would like you to get in touch with me be it on twitter 
um, Instagram or right here in the comments on this channel and I'd like to hear what you have to say as far as why it's important to you to have prints in your hand and also why uh, you may feel you have a hard time doing that or what the biggest roadblocks are that you face um, because maybe as a community you know grows here we can you know help each other out and figure out some ways to you know get around some of those roadblocks or or eliminate them altogether so I'm gonna get going and you guys have a good night I will see you guys tomorrow take care